Hi, hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and today I want to share something beautiful and easy that you won't believe. I will give you the step by step of how you can make this butterfly sweater. But before we start, I want to invite all of you to subscribe, to give me a like and to activate the notification bell. Well, I will give you first the material list and then all my secrets and tips. So let's don't waste more time, let's start. I think this sweater is perfect for any size. So you will need 700 grams of this material that is between medium and bulky and a crochet hook that is number 4 millimeters. Well, we are going to start making chains with one thread and with her hook. I will make 130 chains. Remember that we all crochet different. I suggest that you crochet a little bit loose but approximately we are going to need to make this strip of chains until we get 120 centimeters okay so see you when you have these centimeters well at the end guess what i finished making 135 chains to reach the 1 meter and 20 centimeters i needed well once you have that we are going to make six chains more to start. Okay, so we will turn over twice. We will count six, the chains that we made, and then plus we are going to count four. Two, three, and four. Right here we will insert the hook. Look, we will take one, then one, two, and two. This is a triple double crochet. Again, we will turn over twice and in the same place, we will make the same. Okay, try to make it a little bit loose, please relax. In the same place, we are going to make six triple double crochet. Well, I will continue making more triple double crochet like this, okay? Until we have six. I suggest that you crochet loose. If you feel that you crochet too tight, well, change the number of your hook for a bigger number, okay? And like this we will continue. We will start counting without counting this one. We have two, four, five, so we have to make one more to have six here in the same place. And with this one we will have six. Well, now without making any chain or so, Right away we will turn over, we will count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and in the 6th chain we are going to insert our hook and right there we are going to make a segment in the same place, all of them together we are going to make 6 triple double crochet, ok? And like this is how we are going to continue the whole row. so here we have 3 four, then five, and six. Well, like this is how we are going to continue the whole row until we finish the, the strip of chains that we made, okay? Leaving six chains between. Well, at the end of the row, we will have four chains left. So we are going to make the last stitch for the edge. So we are going to make here a triple double crochet. Okay, for the edge. Okay, so, so far we must have something like this, right? Then turn around and we will go up with one one chain okay turn over and then we are going to make one half double crochet in each chain okay be careful uh, count how many chains you have and at the end you must have the same number okay don't skip and try also to crochet loose if not it, the shape it will distort so crochet loose and with this you will see that at the end the stitch will look so much better and it will have a different look. 
So like this we are going to continue making half double crochet in each stitch. Okay? Remember that if you are using a fine material or light material, you will need to make more stitches. But well, that's up to you and we will continue. Well, at the end of the row, remember that you have to make a half double crochet also in the edge. Okay, so now we will go up with six chains, five, four and six. Then turn over twice, we will skip one, this is the where we started, so we will skip two and in the third we will insert the hook right there and we are going to make a triple double crochet. Then one chain, we will skip one and next to it again a triple double crochet. Okay, let me do it again, turn over twice. As you could see, I skip one, then one chain, skip one, and in the next one make a triple double crochet. And like this is how we are going to continue the whole row. As you could see, we are only using basic stitches. So if you are a beginner, this break is perfect for you. And as I told you at the beginning, this is so easy that you won't believe. So let's continue like this. Okay, at the end of the row we will have something like this, you see? Now, turn around, we will go up with one chain and we are going to make a row of half double crochet. Here in these spaces that we have three, also here over the triple double crochet, then here inside and like this, please be careful, not skip any stitch, take all of them and like this we are going to continue making a row with half double crochet and at the end when we finish we are going to repeat it, this row with triple double crochet and one chain between well here as you could see we have two series of these rows with a triple double crochet and half double crochet so now at the end it's important that you count and you have the same number of stitches with the ones that you started. Now that you are sure, we are going to continue. We will go up with four chains, then we will skip one and next to it we will make a double crochet. As you could see this is a simple double crochet out of two crochet. Then we will make one chain, skip one and next to it a double crochet. We are making two kinds of squares. As you could see, the, uh, well, this is a rectangle and here we are making squares. Well, as you could see, here we finished the row. We have rectangles, we made squares and then the row of a double crochet. Now, turn around and we are going to pop with six chains. Turn over twice, oh no, we are going to make five, okay, five chains, turn over twice, this is the space of the chain, two, three, here is where we are going to insert the hook and make again a triple double crochet, then one chain, turn over twice, and we will come back and insert the stitch in the space that we um, skip, right? You see we make a kind of cross, we will skip one, two and in the third we will make a triple double crochet and we will repeat. We will make one chain, yarn over twice and we will come back where we finished, where we insert and where we made the last triple double crochet. Right there we will insert the hook, you see, so this will be how the series will go. Again we will make one chain, we will turn over, we will skip two and in the third we will make this triple double crochet. So here we are making a review and I'm sorry because I lost the stitches. So one chain and we are going to come back where we finished the last cross. You see? At the end of the row we are going to continue crossing we will have to skip two and in the third we will make the triple double crochet crochet then one chain 
and we are going to come back. So here we are making a review. At the end of this row, we are going to make uh, the double crochet row that we made before that we started this row. Okay, so we are going to repeat this row. Well, at the end of the row, we are going to finish the last triple double crochet for the edge. It's very important that you don't skip this last stitch. So, so far we will have something like this. Now we are going to repeat the row of double crochet. So we will go up with two chains and we will make one in each stitch. Also here inside and over the triple double crochet. Please count and you must have the same number. Well, at the end of the row we will turn around and now we are going to make one row of small squares and one row of rectangles. So we will make first the row of squares. So we will go up with three chains, then one chain more, so we will make four. We will skip one and then a double crochet. Then one chain, skip one and a double crochet. And like this we are going to continue the whole row, then one row more of double crochet and, and then, then the rectangles. Well, here I finished the rows that I was making. So remember we started like this with shells, rectangles, again rectangles, squares, the crosses, then squares and rectangles. So now we are going to repeat this row of shells with six triple double crochet, all of them in the same place. Then we escape five and in the six we make the shell. So now here we will go up with six chains. We will turn over twice. We will skip two, three and in the fourth we will make the shell. This will be only at the beginning. In the rest we are going to make a, we are going to sorry skip five and in the sixth we are going to make the shell. So here first we are going to make six triple double crochet all of them in the same place. Okay so here we have three then four, five, and six. So here we have the first shell. Then turn over twice without making any chain or so. We will skip five and in the sixth we will make a shell. Again in the same place six triple double crochet and like this the whole row okay so at the end we will have something like this you see so now we will uh, transform the stitch you will see we will make the same shell but the opposite so first we will go up and we will start the same with, with five chains then three more to start then turn over twice and we will make one double triple double crochet in each a triple double crochet that we made before but we are going to leave the last loop in half okay so here we have one then two as you could see I'm keeping the last loops in the hoop right there in half so here we have three four then five and then six once that we have all the loops in half we are going to uh, bring them through and make one chain to close and we have something like this you see now one two three four five chains turn over twice and we will make the same over the last shell that we made so we are going to make one triple double crochet over the last triple double crochet and leaving the last loops in hold so like this the whole row okay at the end of the row we will have something like this so Remember that it's very important that we finish with the last stitch of the edge. So here we will make three chains 
and don't forget to make the last triple double crochet for the edge okay be careful and remember I forgot to tell you that here I'm making just a sample of the stitch in real because I did get ahead and I will show you so okay turn around and we will go up with one chain and we will make the row of double crochet so we are going to make one in each stitch here for example if we made three chains well we are going to make over three double crochet and then one here where we make one chain to close and like this okay for example here if we made five we are going to make five double crochet so here we have three four five and then remember one over this chain and once we finish this row we are going to repeat everything that we made we are going to make it right here so the yeah. rectangles the squares the crosses the squares rectangles and rectangles and again we are going to make these shells the same way that we made here okay that we made these shells and we are going to do uh, like that okay we will go backwards so after this row we are going to make this we are going to go from here to the bottom so I will continue I will get ahead and I will show you so far what I have been making well look so far we have something like this so I have one meter and 20 centimeters uh, long and 65 centimeters of wide okay so 120 here and 65 here okay so i feel that it's perfect it's enough i will stop right here and i suggest that before we continue with the elastic we iron okay because then later it will be difficult to do it so first iron using a protection on there remember very soft and gently please extend it and then we will make the elastic okay so uh, if we fold it like this we will sew 12 centimeters here because I was showing you wrong so you will sew 12 centimeters from here to here so if we measure okay we will have this and then this space that we have here all around is where we are going to make the elastic also we are going to make the same in the other side it is the same also if we fold it in half like you want to say it but it is the same so if you fold it in half please make sure that this is facing to the right side right so we are going to sew from here to here 12 centimeters and this space is the one that will be free for our sleeves okay so before we continue i want to invite all of you to finish your rows to iron please extend using a protection on there and then this will be the back and this will be the first front okay the first front and the second front okay so basically this is it with this a big rectangle we are going to um, transform it into a cardigan okay a beautiful butterfly cardigan so for now just sew 12 centimeters in one side then in the other two okay so with an embroidery needle I suggest that you find one with the big eye okay we are going to take a long thread and we are going to sew 12 centimeters here we will join these two parts from here to here and we are going to leave the rest open so we will join or well i think it's better 15 centimeters and 15 centimeters also we will leave open yes approximately 15 centimeters so we will sew until here and we will leave this space open so i will show you well so with one thread we are going to sew here we are going to make a knot right here joining both sides and with this stitch 
the one that I will show you. If you already have watched my videos, you know that I like to use this stitch because it's very simple and with this you won't create any pleat. So you are going to take one stitch from one side and one stitch from the other side, but you are going to insert the hook to the bottom, to the top, okay? So like this. I suggest that you try to find um, these needles that have the big eye, okay? Because with this will be very useful and you will use the same material, the same yarn to join and this will perfectly blend. So remember that this space will be open because this will be the part where our body will be and we will is so only 15 centimeters. Like this is how we are going to continue. Okay, so here we finished to sew. Now in this space that we leave, we are going to make a single crochet route all around. Or let's see how it looks. Or I'm thinking that we can start making a row with half or no with double crochet yes with double crochet so in the next row we can make the elastic so yes we are going to make one double crochet over each stitch well so we are going to make this row all around the body okay in the big space but also we are going to make this row of double crochet here all around but also all around the sleeves okay also here well so here we made this row all around the sleeves right I suggest that you count the number of stitches that you have in one sleeve so you can make the same in the other sleeve too I already count and I have 32 stitches so please count and you must have the same number well, to start, right away before we finish the row, we are going to slip one to close and right away we will go up with one chain and we will insert the hook in the back part of the chain. Then we will go up, sorry, with two chains. So here we have the first double crochet. Then we will insert the hook in the back we are going to make two double crochet in front in relief and then two double crochet taking it from the back in relief so we are going to make two and two and we are going to alternate okay once we are going to place the hook in the back and like this we are going to make two and then once we are going to place the hook in front and like this we are going to make two okay so here we are making the elastic double you see so like this is how we are going to continue the whole row two in front two in the back two in front and two in the back you see okay so here uh, we have to count that we have the pairs complete okay if you are missing one we'll increase one stitch but at the end you must have the pairs complete two in front and two in the back, two in front and two in the back and you have to finish in pairs two, okay? So please check that and remember that you are going to make the same in the other sleeve too. So at the end we are going to slip one to close and right away to start with the next row we are going to place the hook in the back and we are going to respect what we were making, okay? If we took the last stitches in front placing the hook in front well we are going to respect and make the same we are going to also make them in pairs we are going to make two the same then next we are going to change and we are going to make two the same and like this okay we are going to continue alternating but respecting what we made in the last row so what we made in the last row basically it's what we are going to repeat well like this is how we are going to continue making more rows until we get the long of the elastic and of the sleeve that we want okay I will continue making more and at the end I will tell you exactly how many rows I made okay so let's continue 
Okay, so I have here, let's count the rows like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteenth rows. Okay, so we have two in the back and two in the front. Let me check. Yes, fourteenth rows. Okay, so remember that we are going to make the same in the other sleeve too. Let me give you the centimeter so you can have a reference and idea too. So approximately we will have 16, 15 centimeters. And we are going to make the same in the other sleeve too. Well, remember I told you that all around we were about to make a double crochet row too. So I did. And this is where we finished and I made I here I started the double crochet throws and I made all around one two three four five six and seven throws all around remember that this will co cover part of the front the neck and the back too so this will be like the elastic and we'll, once we finish to make all of this, please check that you have the same number of centimeters and of rows in one sleeve than in the other. Also, uh, I suggest if you want, you can make this longer like you want. Please try on and see if you like it. Remember that before we made the elastics, I told you to iron. So for now, you are just going to hide all the threads that we may have. And with this we finish. Now let's see how it looks. Well, thank you so much for watching this video until the end. I hope that you like it, that you enjoyed making this cardigan with me. As you could see, it was so easy. Thank you so much. Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe. Take care. Bye-bye. See you.